So this is recipe for disaster. What is recipe for disaster? Recipe for Des disaster is a restaurant management sim with a devious social twist. Contend with willful staff, questionable cooking skills, demanding customers, and unreliable suppliers as you embark on a culinary misadventure to become the ultimate head chef. This is the game I've had on my wish list for a very long time. We actually did a let's look at a little bit of a demo look back in uh, the demo fest months and months ago had a lot of fun with it. it it is it is at first a little bit of a learning curve um but there's a lot of good things here to, to catch on so if you like management type games and you like restaurant type games this might be right up your alley obviously um so i think i'm gonna be doing a let's play on this i don't know i guess that's gonna be uh, up to you guys if you guys want to see more of recipe for disaster you gotta let me know down in the comment section below just say yeah i want to see more or do a silent comment hit the like button you know that'll tell me that you want to see more of this game as well um if you're new to the channel welcome it's a pleasure and honor being with you here today if you are a returning subscriber welcome it's a pleasure and honor being with you here today yeah so make sure to hit that like button uh subscribe if you're new and let's go ahead and jump into this so i did already make my avatar this is me this is what i look like look at him he looks freaking fantastic right great i also and this is something cool right uh you could actually go into the create here and you can have avatar editors you can have uniform editors you can make your own cookbook which i found to be really really cool i would love to like make a custom uh, cookbook or even maybe i know some of you guys in the discord man you guys like to cook it up and i'm sure this is probably enticing you a little bit more too um create a scenario is not here yet but it will come soon just so you guys know this game is in early access and this game actually is um excuse me i should probably have done this before but good god almighty this game is developed by dapper penguin studios and published by uh casido 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 games if this game is up your fancy eye, you know, if this, <laughs> if this game's up your fancy aisle, if this game uh, happens to be for your fancy, I would go over there and check it out. This game's going to be in early access, so it's not going to be full release when it is released, uh, so all that good stuff as well. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I can need to do. I don't need to show you anything else. Oh, well, actually I do. I went into the uniform editor here, and I actually created my own uniforms. Yes, yes, yes. As you can see, you can make male and female uniforms. I went on and created my own. So this is going to be our male uh, uniform, I guess. Um, somehow I'm going to implement it. And then this is going to be our female one as well. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really, really excited for this game. Thank you guys so much for the, uh, the dev team that gave me a key for this game. I really do appreciate it. It lets me showcase this game and actually show this game to a lot of people that actually didn't have no idea they had no idea about this game so that's uh, very very fun so we can learn the tutorial learn the ropes and or do the campaign oh my god there's multiplayer coming soon multiplayer coming soon i had no idea there was going to be multiplayer oh my god this is awesome that should be so spicy i wonder how that would work would that'd be so spicy we're going to jump into the tutorial Basic tutorial or advanced tutorial? Um, this is a little strange. <laughs> uh, does this mean like difficulty? Like, oh, easy. Like advanced tutorial I, makes me feel like if I go for the advanced tutorial, it tells me everything I need to know about the game. If I go for a basic tutorial, am I like leaving stuff off? Like, will I not know things from time to time? I don't know. This might be the uh, episode zero or so forth. Maybe it's episode one, but kind of like an episode zero where we're learning about the game because there is a lot to learn about this game. It is not your typical uh, easy to go dive into um, tycoon game. It's, there's, there's quite a bit to this game. Real quick, let me just go ahead and move my forehead out of the way so that you can see some more stats there uh, right off to my that way. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Welcome back. You know how to handle a couple of customers, but working alone with a pre-made menu will only get you so far. Time to customize your menu and hire some employees. One small tip, maybe having a fryer in the middle of the dining room isn't the best idea. Very well. <laughs> okay, so let's open the restaurant and get started. If you ever need to pause time and get uh, get your bearings, hit spacebar. Very well. Um, do we just... Do we open now? Oh, I guess. Wait, we don't want this here, though, right? Can we, like, can we pick this up? Yeah. Oh, you right click, right click, right click, move. This is our uh, kitchen here. We'll put the fryer right there. There's our window. Very good. And let's open up the restaurant. There we go. Let's open up. Very well. 
A bigger crew, customers demand can be pretty overwhelming, so you'll need some help. Hire two employees to reduce the, you know, let's pause real quick, my man. <laughs> let's hire two employees to reduce the pressure. You can do this by clicking on the staff button in the UI below. Sorry to say it, but the head chef is far from exceptional. So try and hire a few new recruits who have strong complementary skills. Keep in mind, their hourly wage. Yeah, so this is going to be a very slower paced kind of uh, tycoon game because a lot of things can happen and a lot of things can hit the hit the ceiling. Like if you don't pay attention, you can really get into the into the badness here. <laughs> um, if that makes any sense. So this is Chef Mike. You take a look at Chef Mike. We have a fryer who he loves. He loves fryer. Um, so there's there's different traits in this game. Obviously skill points, as you can see. Um, you can see people that love things and people that hate things. So when you create your own chef in this game, you have to actually do this. You have to, you have to choose something that you love um, and choose something that you hate. Luckily for Chef Mike, he loves a fryer, and that's all we need is really a fryer. Fryer, so that's gonna be good. He will not do the oven though, so he's just said, nope, not gonna do in the oven. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and hire a couple of employees here. Maybe move that off to the side, possibly. Maybe down here. So let's see here. We have a few different things that we can go out here. We have Catherine, Jessica, Jennifer, Timothy, Amy. Um, I mean, we want someone who's gonna be a waiter, yeah. She wants someone to be a waiter, so she hates being a waiter. Sorry, she hates that. She hates grilling, or this person hates grilling, right? Hates grilling. You can see the stats here as well, so very, very well. Um, so a fryer, if we, okay, so if we get Amy here, who hates the fryer, that's okay, because Mike loves the fryer. Um, Mike hates the oven, but she loves the oven. So she would kind of be our, you know, it's like a little bit of yin and yang, right? So we could have her, to do the oven if we needed her to do the oven however she's not a good server and she does has no charisma but she's really good at cleaning i think i'm gonna go and hire amy to kind of counteract chef mike here right yep because he hates the oven the hiring fee is gonna be 15 dollars. salary of three dollars <laughs> salary of three dollars what the hell is going on here <laughs> so there we go get hired uh brent loves the fryer hates the stove not a very good server now i'm kind of looking for Someone who wants to serve someone who's a decent server it Looks like Catherine would be our only option here. She hates the grill, but she loves the stove and she's a decent server So I think we're gonna go with Catherine here Hire Catherine very well. All right. So there we go. We have two new people now um, Let's go to the next thing getting personnel Maybe Jake has a problem with Emily because she is lazy. Didn't you hear the mic that Michael quit two hours ago? Inspect each of your employees character sheets to see their stress meter and thoughts You can keep an eye on each employee's stress also on their portrait in the top center part of the screen. Oh right here <laughs> Very well now that you have some help, uh, let's place some more objects, add an extra table and another appliance to serve more customers and increase the cash flow. You can right click on an object in build mode to move or duplicate. All right, so there we go. So let's go ahead and let's duplicate this, I, I assume, right? Yeah. Uh, build mode. Where do we, how do we get to build mode? Not the order queue. Oh, by the way, hang on. Chef, uh, Chef Mike here. Can we see his thoughts? Yeah. So he's full of energy. Uh, nobody likes this restaurant. He he does. He hates that, right? Obviously. Um, empty tables means less money. He hates it. But he's happy to be here. I don't really understand this. Maybe this is minus eight from his stress. So that's good. Um, if it was added, like a red plus, that's adding to his stress. That makes more sense. Um. So yeah, let's go into build mode, probably down here, forehead. Great job. And let's see if we can duplicate this. Yes, duplicate that, please. No, no, duplicate this. Duplicate. Oh, duplicate settings? Duplicate, there we go, okay, good. Uh, we will duplicate this, and I don't know if this is where it wants us to put the table. Uh, maybe, I don't know, but we'll just slap it right there. I mean, it is the tutorial after all, so nothing really uh, to get too crazy. Um, add an extra table with chairs and a grill. So now we need to go ahead and add a grill. Let's go in. Oops, we were already in build mode. That should be an appliance. The UI, I mean, the UI in this game looks so clean. Looks very good. So now that we have a grill, good thing we got somebody, right? Good thing that we got someone that can grill because Mike... No, wait. Was it Mike that didn't want to grill or did he not want to do... Um, or was it... Stove? Maybe it wasn't. Let me see here. Mike... Mike was oven oven not not the grill so oven okay good sure 
<laughs> All right, culinary wizardry. Time to get creative. Click on the recipe uh, recipe editor icon at the bottom of the UI, then click new recipe and give it a name. Right click on the canvas and select deep fried action. Select meat category and drag the chicken wing ingredient into the deep fryer action a new action will automatically link to the act okay okay there's a lot of action in that <clears throat> a lot of action so let's go ahead and take up our new menu here right or no sorry recipe editor so this is our re this this is like the most complicated part of the game which makes it so cool i i dig it i like this part of the game i'm not very good at it but i think over time i i might get better at it right so let's see here um we want to do new recipe yeah, new recipe, yeah. Recipe editor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then they want us to right click on the canvas. And we want to add deep fry. And in the deep fry, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> drag and drop ingredients. Okay, so drag and drop ingredients. So we want to deep fry chicken wings. There we go. Chicken wings. All right, to the deep fry, a new action will automatically link to the action that follows it in the chain. All right, I, 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 I see that kind of. You can change the appearance of your dish by clicking the brown arrow pointing downwards on the plate action. Yeah, or this, oh, I see, okay. So we don't want it to look like that because you know, that's not chicken wings, dude. Anything kind of similar to a chicken wing? Doesn't seem like it. Um, I mean, that's a kebab, like a skewer, fish and chips, fruit salad, steak and chips, chicken nuggets, that's closer, lasagna, meat, fried goods, oh god, fried goods, I don't think there's like a chicken wing type pitcher here for us, oh, you son of a gun, it's very, very small margin here, I guess I can use my wheel, Fish and salad, I never had both of those together. Ro oh, there's chicken wings right there. Bam, all right, so there's our chicken wings. Very well. Um, now you just need to save your recipe. Oh, I didn't name it though. Oh, dang, I should have named it. My bad. Wait, can I do that? Chicken wings. Save it. Chicken wings, okay, cool. Cost to make this dish to deep fried chicken wings and plate it is gonna cost us $1.75. And it takes three minutes to actually cook. So that's really good stats. Stats in this game, if, you, if you're if you like a staff buff in uh, Sim Tycoon games, this is gonna be like right up your alley as well. Proper pricing. In the menu editor, you can change the price of the dish you just created. Let's lower the price a bit to tempt new customers. You can always increase it again once your restaurant has gained some popularity. Okay, so let's go to menu. So the, on the menu, we have the chicken wings. So here, we're gonna decrease the price, maybe $5. Well, it costs us $1.75 to make. So let's maybe make it to uh, $4. Let's do $4, I like $4. All right, so get organized. Now that you have, or now that you are paying for extra help, you'll need to make sure everyone is assigned to correct appliances and tables. Don't forget about their personalities. Always consider the following. What do they love and what do they hate? And what is best for the business? Top tip, adding more than one person to an appliance or table will make your life a lot easier. Trust me, efficiency is key here. Okay, in that case, where is our people at? I don't think they're in here yet. I don't think they've they've arrived quite yet. We're gonna give them a sec, here they come. Oh dude, the game looks so good. I don't remember the game being this, like looking this good. Okay, so now that they are here, let's go ahead and click on Amy and see what she has. So she's, she's more for the oven, she's not the fryer. Um, we don't even have a freaking oven in here and her serving is terrible um, over here We have grill who we don't want to grill or Catherine who doesn't want to grill But she can at least serve so we can assign her to this table and assign her to that table And then over here where is she at on the on the grill? She's two, you know, that's fine. We'll have her assigned uh, to there I love how easy this all is and we'll have uh, Mike get onto the onto the fryer there I really really love how easy this is now we could put Mike on both right we could put him on fryer and grill but for right now we don't want to overdo it right we don't want to stress him out too much we actually have our first customer in which is really good uh, Mike my man you want to come inside okay sign 
at least two okay then in that case we'll assign him to this as well so he will be there he will have the fryer and the grill and then so forth and so forth so taking control if necessary you can manually interact with an appliance or table by selecting any employee and right clicking on the object most of the time you can just trust the ai, AI but occasionally you'll find the manual inter intervention will be required I know that was a lot to learn, oh god, so prove that you've been paying attention and serve some customers. Alright, we can do this. Very, very simple. So now we kind of let the restaurant work on its own here, and hopefully this tutorial of me kind of explaining, I know you can like read the tutorial yourself, but maybe seeing it visual, I'm a visual type person, so visually seeing it happen maybe helps with people that are playing this game or trying out this game first time. Um, Chef Mike performed exceptionally well while cooking and look at that we have the, like why is she dressed like that? She's dressed like she's going to a friggin igloo dude, but there we go. Chef Mike is doing a great job for us Everybody should be ordering just chicken wings. That's all we have here is just two chicken wing or sorry one chicken wing on the menu Hopefully we give the most incredible chicken wings out there. There are a lot of customers waiting You want you may want to build more. Hey, if there's cut. Oh my god I didn't even know there's a freaking line out here, dude all right, in this case, let's let's get it going. I guess we're the talk of the town so far. Let's bring in a couple more. Now, uh, we could add more more chairs, right? That's probably what we should do is add more chairs. So I'm going to duplicate that, and I'm going to duplicate this. And then what I'm going to simply do is just find some chairs, that, specifically the chairs that are kind of like this anyways. Um, what are those? What are these? You know what? I could just like duplicate that single chair, yeah? Yeah, okay, good. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that. Look at that, how incredible. And what we'll do is we'll make sure that we have four at all times. Um, maybe put a tiny little table off to the side, we'll see here. Uh, but there we go. Now we can get more people into the door here. Very well. Now it's going to be a little bit of a doozer on our server. Um, she's going to have to be serving four tables, but I think that's fine. I think serving four tables is, is, is fine. I think she can handle it. So now that the customers have started arriving, you may want to learn more about them. All right, let's click on somebody. Let's click on this person. This is Corey Weaver. Pause it real quick. Listen to people. Uh, have you noticed those stars in the bottom right? Right here. Uh, yeah, right here. <clears throat> the review panel is your greatest ally, and you'll find that the fastest way to glory is to listen and react. Does nobody like the dishes on the menu, or are people complaining about your taste and decoration? Is the waiter slower than a turtle, or are the quests, well, or are they swim swimming in... What the heck does that say? Tre treacle? Tre swimming in trike? Eff it. <laughs> Request. We'll let you know exactly what customers want and expect from a restaurant in this neighborhood. So here we go. Um, oh, so Jane Snyder. I think that was our first uh, customer that we served, actually. So let's go. Steady progress. So why would a customer choose your place instead of the one next door? Popularity, of course. The higher your customers rate this experience, the faster your restaurant's popularity will ultimately grow so she gave us a three out of five star uh catherine was rude uh catherine served me incredibly fast so catherine was rude but catherine did serve her fast i don't like to hear that i don't like catherine being snotty so <laughs> let's look on catherine here she's a kleptomatic will steal ingredients from time to time i didn't even notice that <laughs> oh my god uh <laughs> <clears throat> So we got to watch out for her very well uh, the final countdown everything seems to be in place but you don't have much time to turn tables on this one look at customer requests in the review panel and create something new to increase your customers popularity create a new recipe in response to a customer's request okay so we got to wait for maybe a customer's request to come in and then we will kind of go through that right so we'll let time go by here we're playing on one speed here okay whoa 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 Okay, so here we go. We got some stuff in here. Uh, so we actually had two bad reviews. We actually got two stars here. Uh, the menu lacks dishes that I like. This place is ugly. F. Uh, Catherine served me incredibly fast. Good. Uh, nothing I loved here was on the menu. I thought they grilled beef sirloin in the menu. So grilled beef sirloin. Maybe that's something we, we kind of look into. Uh, let's go to recipe editor and let's click grill. And maybe we get some nice sirloin, beef sirloin. Yeah. Boom. Beef sirloin, um, grill, can I like, put you, no, no, oh yeah, there you go, you can connect it, see, oh, so good, okay, so grill, and then we just want, no, 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 we want, wait, <laughs> okay, um, 
thought it was this button, yeah? Grill. No? Oh wait, unless it has to go to another thing before it's complete. Maybe that's what it has to do? Grill step. This is chicken wings? Oh, new recipe. I see. Okay. Okay. I, 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 I see. Okay. So wait, delete this. Can we delete this? Yeah. Delete. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to delete. No, 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 no. What's happening? Okay. This go. Gotta go. Okay. Let's make a new recipe. Good Lord. Okay. There are unsaved changes in the current recipe. Do you want to save? Yes. We want to save. Now give me a new one. This is going to be our beef sirloin right i mean what else beef sirloin so we have that let's go ahead and grill it and we will put our beef sirloin right there and this will become our now we could add more things like we can add like uh fries with this you know what like honestly why are we not right why are we not adding fries to this oh god chicken stock oh lord have mercy dairy there's gonna be a lot of um a lot of testing out and that's the fun thing about this game and about really any restaurant uh, type game is testing out menus at least games that will let you uh, test out menus and stuff like that to see what works and what doesn't work so it looks like we're just gonna do the beef sirloin if we can just have a nice picture of you know what we'll do that just meat <laughs> Just freaking meat, dude. And this will be the beef sirloin. It's gonna cost us 250 to make, but it takes about three minutes to make. We'll save that very well. All right, then we will end the tutorial. We'll back out of here. Maybe. Oh, congratulations, you've completed the objective required to proceed to the next level. Well, you know what? Let's go to the next level. We're not even gonna mess around with that. We know the basics for the most part. We can see what we have in front of us. We know a little bit. Now that is considered the advanced tutorial. Maybe now it's time for us to go into deeper into the tutorial. I don't know, but welcome. Uh, first of all, thank you for joining us on this journey. We really appreciate your support. And at this current stage of early access, you will have the opportunity to play through the first few levels of the campaign. Each stage will have its own set of objectives for you to complete. Be sure to check out the tutorial if you haven't already or get in touch over on the discord okay so there's only going to be a few um campaign missions at early access for right now i believe this game had a roadmap um so definitely if you want to get really involved and you want to know more and give feedback on the game like they said highly recommend going into the discord server it's the best way for any indie games really that are out there asking for feedback just go to their discord and they listen they absolutely listen and they will keep you up to date on everything that's going on as well so this is sloppy joe's day one um looks like a few months ago you landed your very first part-time job flipping burgers at sloppy joe's this is the prologue an unexpected guest uh we start out with 55 or 55 $5,500 with a popularity of 5% or 55%. Our objectives to win this campaign mission here is to have seated five or have five seated tables at the same time, make $150 income from food in a single day, serve eight tables, and for a bonus, sell five dishes at $70 or more. That's incredibly high. $70 or more. Um, lose conditions, 30 popularity, 55% to 30%. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Um, we can kind of minimize our objectives if objectives if we want to. What the heck happened here, dude? Trash? Uh, I guess get rid of the trash. It costs us fifty dollars to get rid of the trash. My lord, my lord. This is kind of weird. I don't like how that that is. Like the, the they couldn't line that one up. Guess not. They had to make it different. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So we we see what we have here. We have the front door here. We have the big kitchen over here. We have a grill. We have a deep fryer, uh, which is fine, I think, to work with right now, obviously. We're going to need employees. Uh, so let's see what we have here. Oh, this is the default group. Oh, do they already give us? Oh, they do. Because look, at there's me. Hello. By the way, look at me. I love charisma. <laughs> and I hate cleaning. <laughs> but, you know, that, that's how that is, I guess. Uh, gain 30 more XP to advance to the next level. Okay. So... It looks like we do have a, 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 what do they call it in the, in the cooking world world? Anybody that's out there, you know, doing the cooking world, uh, a brigade, I believe is what the correct terminology there is. Anyways, um, uh, let's go ahead and duplicate a few things here. So we're going to duplicate the tables or sorry, the chairs have four. Um, 
maybe even do can i actually duplicate all of this yeah or just like duplicate yeah okay cool uh we're gonna duplicate this entire thing here i'm gonna go right oh right no probably right there or over here off into the corner right next to the bathroom maybe not um right here maybe fine and then if we could squeeze another one over here that might be a little little too much uh, it's not bad i guess there we go we'll do that so we have forty nine hundred dollars um a lot of tables in here <clears throat> so this is this is good so far right this is good so far let's go ahead and pick up a recipe editor here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh chicken wings because you know that kind of worked out very well and we're gonna go chicken wings we're gonna gr or sorry deep fry those chicken wings uh, da -da -da chicken wings there we go we'll deep fry the chicken wings give it a nice little not a mozzarella stick uh, but chicken wings and apply that that will be one <clears throat> and we will name that uh, we'll, we'll leave that how it is now for a new recipe I would like to go with the beef uh, sirloin that we were going to do so that's what we're gonna go did I spell that right sirloin I think I did yeah I think I did we're gonna create a what the heck's happening here do we get something new oh we only have certain ingredients in storage you see 12 okay i see i see i see what is what is going on here what what what's what's highlighting do we get something new food storage oh stored keep a minimum stored oh i can see uh we want to have maybe five on a minimum store so dry storage capacity uh refrigerated storage capacity plus five okay if we have 10 yeah, if we have 10, that means we would add to the 156, which would probably be 166. Having 10 chickens on store, storage, I think seems okay. I think seems okay. Now, we don't have any chicken uh, wings, which is probably bad, because now what, right? <laughs> we, we can't sell chicken wings. Well, I mean, next delivery is at 1 p.m. If you saw it there, it is at 1 p.m. I don't know if there's a time clock on here. It doesn't seem like there is, but I did see that if you saw that right here. Next delivery at 1. I don't, unless there's like a time clock that I'm not seeing here. No, okay, that's fine. In the meantime, we'll, we'll continue with this. We'll go beef sirloin, and we will make sure that this beef sirloin is grilled with a nice boom and a bing and we will name or we will make this um just a meat just a meat look there we go awesome <clears throat> beef sirloin save that now one thing i kind of want to do is get a little bit crazy here uh because you can see there's like ingredients here that we can use and in, in, in whatnot um so let's go ahead and make a new recipe now what kind of things can we do here you know what let's cancel this and kind of break this down and get an idea now we have a lot of chicken breasts here we have a lot of ground beef as well we do have a lot of ground beef. We have a lot of pork ribs. I didn't realize we, we have a lot of bacon, too. Any seafood? Not really. Any pastas? Oh, wait, what is this? Sorry, fruits and vegetables. Brown onion. Corn. Garlic. Garlic would probably be pretty good. With, like, a meat. Potato fries. Oh, there's the fries. Cool. That would have been good with the grilled beef sirloin. You know what? Beef sirloin? Can I do that? Beef sirloin with fries beef sirloin with sorry with i know i looked down at my keyboard with fries save that so that costs four dollars to make if they want beef and uh and vegetables very or beef and fries um let's see here pastas and grains nothing there dairy i mean we could put some butter on it some mozzarella some milk chili powder uh, chocolate drops, cumin, um, lemon, and honey. Uh, no, I think that's all right. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Let's go ahead and start a new recipe here. And we'll name this W for now. Because we don't know what we're going to make it. We don't know uh, what this is going to turn into right now. So we're kind of just seeing what we have. Now we do have, we could do bake, boil, uh, prepare, roast, and sear definitely could we could do that but i'm kind of sticking with the tools that we have because i'm trying to save as much money as possible right now so what if we deep fried we don't have any fish to deep fried i mean we have salmon but you don't want to deep fry salmon <laughs> i don't think <laughs> i don't think you want to do that we could have grilled chicken legs or grilled chicken breast i mean you might want to roast that stuff though 
You know what? What we do is we stick with the menu that we have now. Oh my god. We already have a couple of menu items. So we have the chicken wings. We have the cosmic banana. We have Joe's and fries. We have volcano burger. Which is all grilled. Volcano burger. Grilled and fryer. Grilled and fryer. A decadent. Fried. Decadent. Buttery. Exotic. Fry. Oh, there's so much to this. There's so much to this game. I tell you what. Uh, prices maybe like down to four dollars. Beef sirloin with potatoes, probably down to twelve dollars. And you know, I guess maybe we kind of just let this restaurant open and, and see what happens. Honestly, we gotta order the ingredient. Order ordered ingredients have been delivered. I think that's what that said. So that's very very good. Uh, we do have our people showing up. There's our brigade. I think. Yep. Where am I at? I guess I'm wearing the blue shirt. Okay, so real quick, uh, take a look. What do we have? What are our stats here? Anthony. Anthony can do countertop stuff. Uh, he's very good at serving, so maybe he does that. Who is good at frying and grilling? Well, she is passionate about cleaning. That's wonderful. Uh, Catherine Tucker loves the oven, hates the stove, and a countertop kind of fiend there. All right. So we're not going to be doing, like, very good here <laughs> with our skills when it comes to using the fryer in the grill. Um... I'm, I think I'm gonna use Tony. She's our best, best uh, server and best cleaner, but she's also really good at frying and grilling. We're gonna put her on this, and then we're gonna put ourselves on the grill and the fryer as well. Now, uh, Anthony. Anthony's gonna become our server because he loves it. Maybe yeah, he'll get more XP for that. So he loves it. So we're gonna assign him to a couple of tables. There we go. There we go. And then for Catherine, Catherine loves the oven, and that's basically it. She loves the oven and she loves the countertop. Like honestly, I don't even want her. Maybe I don't know. Maybe if we get an oven in, we'll, we'll we'll do other things there. And maybe we build. Maybe we get an oven now. Whoops. Yeah, maybe we get an oven now. Oh wait, we don't have an oven. We don't have the ability to bring in an oven. I see. I guess we may, might have to um, unlock that later on. That's all right ton of ton of things here lights uh toilets decorations all fun stuff that you can play with but let's go ahead and just see what happens when our you know oh clean areas can we actually manually say clean areas create shrink oh, wait, what is this make sure areas are clean well we want to make sure all this is clean yeah clean area we'll put tony on that um Employees will only clean for an object at this area if their cleanliness level is lower than lower than 35%, I guess. And we'll leave that how it is. Now, she might have a lot to work with here. I'll, I'll be honest with you, but maybe that's okay. All right, let's hit play. Let's see what happens. There's a lot. Like I said, there's a lot to this game and a lot to learn. Like when it comes to recipes and things like that, what is good with one another? Are you in culinary uh, culinary culinary school, right? Um, if you want, why is there two toilets just sitting next to each other like that? That's a little weird, yeah? And there's one in here. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be getting our first customer here. This is Duncan Romero. He loves fried and he loves mozzarella. He hates blueberry, cherries, and bananas. And he's a little bit of a snob. All right. So we do have fried things on the menu. So he should be getting... Dude, why are they cutting through the grass here? Use the sidewalk. All right, so we did get ordered ingredients delivered again. That's good. So here we go. Let's see what we have here. Kind of letting the game play out. I mean, we're not going to be making good food. We're going to be making like subpar food, like average, possibly. So here's our first dish going out. Yo, what are you doing? Why am I serving it myself? Now, I think I served it myself because I think Anthony was over there taking an order. Um, am I good? You know, I am good at serving. So I guess we can kind of like serve as well. I don't know. That was a little weird, I will say. The music's bumping though. I, I do appreciate the music bump. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 
So far, so good. Looks like I am serving again. Tony Chen per performed very poorly while cooking. Again, that's not good for us. We did fine, I guess. So people are going to be hating what we have to offer here in a sec. They're going to be like, what the hell? Customer just walked through the kitchen. Customer just walked through the kitchen. Who is this? Excuse me, who are you? Sir, who are you? <laughs> who is this guy? He just walked in through the back door here. Who is this guy? We performed very poorly. Uh, excuse me, who are you? Why are you in my kitchen? I, I, I honestly don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. We were performing very poorly, but you know, over time we will get XP. And with the XP, we shall, um, you know, level up our, you know, all this and whatnot. We don't have the best cooks, but you know, at least we have some good servers and services out there. I have no idea what the hell this guy's doing. Somebody take care of this man. Somebody talk to him. Oh, employee for hire. Is he asking for an interview yet? Um, if I'm being totally honest, I suck at cooking, but it's my dream to become a chef. I'm not interested. Sorry, dude. Yo, 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 what happened? Okay, cannot perform. What happened? Uh, Tony Chen performed so poorly while cooking that it started a fire. Oh my god. Okay, everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. We're gonna take care of this. We're gonna take care of it together. Tony, somebody? I'm on break. That why, why am I on break? Why did I just run out of the restaurant on break? Why am I taking a break at a time like this? Somebody. Um, uh, Anthony, I need you, buddy. Extinguish the fire. Do we not have a fire extinguisher in here? Do we need to put one down? What is happening? Fire extinguisher, please. Oh, my lord. This is not... This was not in the tutorial. I was not expecting this. There we go. Somebody grab this. Fire extinguisher now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's... Oh, don't duplicate anything. There you go. There you go. Great job. Oh, my god. I don't think we're going to be able to save that son of a gun. Why do I still have food in my hand? <laughs> Why did I take food outside on my break? Oh, my god. These people are panicking. So she did such a poor job that she lit this place on fire. Yo. What? The we're making money. I mean, we're making a profit. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Everyone just calm down. Everyone calm down. Go serve. Cannot perform. Deep fry. Somebody needs to clean this. I do not want to duplicate that. I want... I want... I need this object clean, please. Clean it off so we can finish our job here. I was not expecting everything to just hit the ceiling so far. Our reputation is now going down because of what just happened. We can now finish our foods. Oh my lord. Uh, we should probably have our kitchen in a clean area too. Probably create that. Get that going on here. We want to have our place very good looking. So maybe like at a 55%. That would be better. I can't believe what just happened. That was crazy, dude. Now, Tony, Tony is cooking, but she's also cleaning. Uh, what is Catherine doing? Ingredient discount. Oh, some ingredients are now discounting. Get out your wallet. There's so much going on. Um, Catherine actually is a oven skilled cleaning countertop chopping fiend. Now, what we could do is we can actually assign her to the grill because she does have two on the grill. So we can get that going on at least. I cannot believe this. Oh my god. Everything going completely wrong. <laughs> oh, this is where some of our ingredients are. Some of our great, some of our ingredients are out here. Ay ay ay. Looks like she is gonna be cleaning that table off. That's good. That guy just went inside the table. Okay. Alright, so let's take a look at some complaints that we have here. Oh, we actually have some three stars. This place could look better. This place is squeaky clean. Um Anthony was rude. This place is squeaky clean. Anthony was rude. I was rude. This place is squeaky clean. I was rude. And Anthony... I, okay, so apparently I've been rude. F. But we do have an ingredient. Sorry, let me just... Ingredient discount? Uh, I mean, sure, dude. How do you know and what, what do we have for discounts? Now, we have all this kind of stuff. We could keep a minimum order, and we should keep a minimum order of at least maybe seven, six, 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 five. Five burger buns, um, five corn. 
Where are we sitting at, at capacity? We're sitting fine at capacity, I think. So that'd be 150, that would be 126. Okay, very well. Anything else that we possibly need? What is this? Oh, rain and dry, maybe? Dry and cold? Um, anything else that we're kind of looking at here? Nothing really. Okay. Keep a minimum storage of five. You know what? Maybe seven. Yeah, seven is okay. You know what? F it. We're going ten. Ten on each of those. Potatoes? No, we don't need any potatoes. We could bring in some eggs. Never had eggs. So we could maybe bring in eggs. But I think we not. I think we not. I think we're fine the way we are. Uh, nobody has said anything about deliveries or sorry uh foods and stuff like that make 150 dollars income from food in a single day we've already done that have seated five tables at the same time we're in the process of that um serve eight tables still in the process of that sell five dishes at 70 dollars or more so there we go a nice 52 dollars three star review there love to see that that's not too bad that was hannah shaw this place could look a better and maybe that's what we do maybe we make this place look a little bit better uh the decoration maybe bad 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 on our part i mean i don't know dude we could put a freaking tv in here if we wanted to uh we could put a nice wall shelf let's put a nice wall shelf a nice wall vase a nice mirror <laughs> um a table oh yeah a table let's do a table uh vase on each table there we go and then um what is this oh, a little tiny plant napkin holder very well um, I mean, a TV just sounds like sports bar. We're not going that route. Let's just do another wall shelf, like right there. Any landscaping? No. Lighting, possibly lighting, like a nice ceiling lamp, ceiling light, or chandelier. I don't know what kind of theme we're going with, with that, but $120 is right there. Maybe that will make people a little bit more happier. I guess we could paint the walls too. I mean, the brick is kind of crazy, you know. Maybe we do a nice flower jungle? What do you think about that? Oh, no, I don't like it. <laughs> uh, food wallpaper. This is what we had in the tutor tutorial mission there. And I kind of like the black with the white. It kind of goes very well together. There we go. Let's do this. Do that. Can't really get the walls unless you... Unless you, unless you do something here. You gotta get the walls up more, maybe? Oh, right here. There we go. Make the whole entire restaurant the way it looks. And then what we will do is we will throw in some nice... Um, oh, we can go colored, too. We'll, we'll throw in a nice little... What is it? Uh, floor. Yeah, floor. I don't like the tile here. Well, we can switch it up a bit. Asphalt is bad. Maybe a nice wood. Yeah, nice wood. Okay, I like it. I dig it. Okay, there we go. Kind of spruce it up a little bit. Maybe people will become a little bit happier with everything. We'll see here. 52, 52 each. Big. Um, having more employees, probably another thing that we should think about, right? Let's hire some more staff. Let's see what we have here. So, we can have someone who, who loves to... Well, actually, who loves the oven, but F it serving we can have another server that's very good we could have a very loving griller <laughs> uh, we can have a very good griller in carl vasquez he might be our new grill he hates frying though and you know what i'm fine with that we'll do that we'll hire him he loves to fry anthony jamie we'll hire him and then let's look into serving cleaning is not bad serving hire okay so these are we just yeah we, we brought in the big guns here uh, I would like to put in my uniforms. So, look, I'm going to actually use my uniforms for this. Let's see what happens. Did I do it? Okay, this should this should save it, yeah? Are they going to be in my uniforms? Maybe not. Maybe I did that wrong. But we are having the cavalry come back into and start helping us out here. So with... Uh, that's me. Uh, not Tony. Here we go. Here's the cavalry. So Carl Vasquez... Uh, Carl's going to be on the grill. No, not cleaning. All slots available. Okay, so let's see here. Click on the grill. We don't want Tony on there. Tony needs to go. Uh, get out of there. No Tony, no Catherine, no me. Uh, all those people off of there. We want Carl 
to be assigned on the grill. We want, and this right here, get me out of there as well. We want uh, Anthony to be assigned on the grill, or sorry, the uh, fryer. And then we need people to kind of compliment them in a way. Tony is very good at, at cleaning. So I'm gonna leave her at the cleaning. I mean, if anything, I can at least help out on the grill and the fryer, and we'll leave that how it is. Now, we should be having one more person, yeah? Come in. What was the one person? What, what, do you, what, what, are you, what are you asking about here? It was Carl Catherine. Oh, Catherine. Where's Catherine? Is this Kath? No. Where's Catherine? Okay, Catherine. Catherine. She loves the oven and the countertop. No, that wasn't who it is. Who was it? Amanda? Amanda. Okay, so Amanda, she's going to be assigned to serving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Assign there. Assign. Assign. And assign. Awesome. Okay, so we have a nice good server there. And let's go ahead and continue with all this. And we might finish this, like, finish this mission off very, very quickly here. Yeah. Five, we just need to have five tables all at the same time. We only have three. There we go. Running low on tomato can only prepare two more mega sloppy joes. Okay, that's fine. Just hang on a sec. We'll get the tomatoes in. Fruits and vegetables. We want to have at least a nice minimum of 10. That might be a lot, but we, we want a nice minimum of 10. Keep that coming in. Kind of put our objectives right here for now. So there is some people that are stressed about something. I don't know, I'm seeing it. Let's see what their thoughts are. We love working here. All right, that doesn't seem very stressful to me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, still looking for that five. We do have four of the tables. We have now served eight tables. We need one more table served, and we would be pretty good, actually. We would we would complete all of it except for maybe the bonus, which selling five dishes at seventy dollars or more. I mean, come on, right? That's a lot. Running low on ground beef. We can get into the ground beef here. Where's the ground beef? Yeah. Make sure we have a minimum of 10 there as well. There we go. $52 sent there. Very, very nice. I'm liking this. All right. So we can see our stamina. We can see our stress. Everyone's stress right now is at a current 0%. That is perfect. Carl Vasquez performed exceptionally well while cooking. Awesome. Order ingredients have been delivered. Fantastic. What's going on here? Four star by Melissa. The mega sloppy was so cheap. They are generous here. This place looks amazing. People are loving the decor that we put out. Thumbs freaking up there. Starting to turn heads. Uh, maybe we can get five people in uh, or five tables served at the same time. Hopefully, possibly. I don't know. We'll have to see here. But I think the cavalry coming in, the extra people, that's that's the way to go. Um, doesn't mean we're going to be profitable with all these people. Mozzarellas are something that we're losing here. Is that dairy? Mozzarella, mozzarella, mozzarella. There we go. Keep those at a 10. Um, but yeah, so I don't think... Uh, it doesn't mean we're profitable. You know, we have all these new employees, all these new wages that we have to do. Uh, but, you know, I think everything's going fine for now. This episode's going to be the longest episode of all time, right? <laughs> I don't know, dude. But, there we go! We've completed the objective required to proceed to the next level. 26 minutes it took for us to get all those objectives. We didn't get the bonus objective, but that's all right. We completed the level, and that's that. It looks very, very good. Um, so I think that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We did the tutorial in the first campaign mission. If you would like to see more of Recipe for Disaster, you got to let me know down in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video, wherever that may be. And do as always, take care. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Classics.